right guys uh this your boy jumps again and uh well come go ahead and uh, do part four to the commentary so here we go part four to the commentary starting right about now last we left off previously Will is talking. Will is still having a conversation with Rosa about the about the whole Beatrice incident. She's referring to a time of meeting Beatrice back in 1967. Yeah, clear the picture if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, that hurts, Leon. What does? <laughs> Leon is amusing. I had to receive a shock from my tutor. I mean, a shock from when my tutor told mother about something that's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> Jeez. You know, Rosa usually has it rough out of the, I mean, out of all the adults in, in this uh, series. She really has it rough. But Nasa, he does too, so. Oh boy. Then again, a lot of people think he deserves it for how she treats Maria, but others think he's the best mom ever. Kua Dorian, a metal woman who called us a Beatrice. The one in the portrait. Yes, they were the same person. Beautiful blue eyes, golden hair, a black dress. It was truly the subject of the portrait. And for the first teddy hung, I realized that the 20 years I had been trying to, for, to forget must have just seemed as long seemed just as long for, for father, if not even longer. I became even more fearful of my sin. Stop there. Are we sure that this is the same Beatrice uh, that, I mean, that Rosa I met? Immediately, Kyria spoke the question that Will had been thinking of. It would be too rash to assume that the Beatrice Kenzo met and the one Rosa met were the same person. Time and generation were different for, for each. Beatrice is supposed to be the Lady of Leisure who lent Dad all that gold shortly after the war, right? <laughs> he bought Rokinjima much over. Okay, so if that really was a human Beatrice, then maybe this person was another rich person who lent Kenzo all the gold. Bought Rokinjima. You know, maybe this will probably be when we finally find out why why Kenzo bought Rokinjima in the first place. She looked older than I was at the time, but even so, it looked as though she might just be recent adulthood. Yes, exactly the sort of age of the bear trees in that portrait. Did she look middle age or past her prime? If I had to call her an adult or child, I would, she was clearly closer to being a child. There's no way she was middle aged. Okay, this is kidding. And isn't that strange? <laughs> The Beatrice you met and the Beatrice who gave father the gold. 
but their ages don't match. In other words, they're different people. Okay, you know what? I think he might be onto something. Two different bear chases. No, I think maybe one is a descendant, descendant of the other. Oh, and speak of the devil, Hideyoshi makes a good point. It might have been her daughter. It makes sense for them to look alike if they were mother and child. His mistress's daughter? It is possible. Perhaps father had an illegitimate child with the Beatrice who gave him the gold. And then Rosa bumped it to Beatrice the second. Makes those agents work out nicely. I see. In other words, there are two people who can be called Beatrice. Kenzo secretly brings this mistress's child in a hidden mansion. That would make logical sense. Will's satisfied, I mean, Will's expression was slightly unsatisfied, and he scratched his, at his head. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I'm starting to figure something out here. What if, what if, who killed Beatrice? I thought, maybe, maybe Burn wasn't talking about the, about the one Rosa met, but the one Kenzo knew. Maybe the one that Kenzo knew, the one that gave Kenzo the gold in the first place. Maybe that's the Beatrice that was murdered. No. Her eyes were open wide. She fell upside down head first and knocked her head against the sharp crag on the rocky beach. As she fell from such a height, her skull had split and caved inwards. Oh, God! I saw the insides of her cracked head. It can't cave deep enough to fit it. Your fist inside it. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? This is starting to sound really... Okay, that's like... that gore. <laughs> I dashed away at full speed. I wasn't even thinking of calling for help. A lion statue? No, the one behind it. Hmm. This is getting interesting now. How is a first aid kid going to help a curse crane and help with a curse cranium? You didn't kill her. Don't worry about that anymore. Wait. Oh, so she called Genji. He didn't. Genji saw kept doing his job quietly, just like normal. Father stayed locked up to his stu study, not knowing any of it. At the very least, none of us had ever heard of it. Genji. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Genji really, I mean, Genji really has the skills that make you think the butler did it. But of course, the servant can't be the cannot be the culprit, so Genji is not the culprit. I guess that's why we're having this funeral. And then, that's all I know. And that's all I know too. Will scratched his head, letting his gaze wander.
it had been a little, re- little more than a review of information he already knew. Hmm. That's enough. It was a nice review. I see. It's, if he wanted to learn something more than what the fragments have shown, been shown about Bunker still contain, he he would need to find a new testimony. Leon, tokens of that I want to talk to him. Looks like we won't be getting anywhere without asking the man himself. Off to cool my head and organize my thoughts. Don't follow. Well then, pardon me. Take your time. Made a tongue, made a face t- tongue sticking out. Unless Will had the eyes on the back of his head, he couldn't have seen this laugh bit. <laughs> Oh boy. So how's the game going? He had come here for a little peace and quiet, and as soon as he let out of at least that voice rang out. That's my line. Damn, burn you a bitch. Battler annoyed me over and over with his incompetence. You're very competent compared to him, so it's a lot easier to relax. Unlike Gusurami or Battler's games, I have nothing standing in my way. It's easy. That sort of game has already ended. Tails can be enjoyed twice. First you love them, then you turn out their guts. <laughs> God damn. You think I'm a butcher? So, do you think you know who killed Beatrice? This is confessing is something I already know from a free previous fragment. There was no brand new information. We're still at square one. That'd be fairly boring. Kenzo refuses to speak of the truth and is himself the king protected by a castle. But it wouldn't be any fun to have that stand in the way of your game. I won't torture, it's not my style. Oh boy. Transparent Crystal. The Detective's Authority? What, that pathetic ability? No. You know what? I remember the detective's authority. The theater going authority. Still really annoying. Holy shit, it's Shannon. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why is Shannon there? And Cannon? A short while ago, he was ordered by um, uh, uh, Leon some. <laughs> so you don't know Leon either? Huh? No, no uh, of course. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Looks like we're getting somewhere now. Shannon is starting to actually, uh, look suspicious. But, this is gonna have to wait. So, I'm going to end this commentary here, and I'll see you in part five.